Hello, I'm Furman Melster from the University of Iowa Office of Sustainability. I'd like to tell you about our biomass partnership project and who's helping us with this important project. Our goal is to achieve 40% renewable energy for all the energy we procure for the university. Folks associated with us are the Iowa Department of Natural Resources and many offices in Iowa DNR, including the Director's Office, Forestry, Geographic Information Systems, and Wildlife. Iowa State University is helping us with folks from their Agronomy Department, Extension Forestry, Natural Resource Ecology and Management, the Fish and Wildlife Service, U.S. Department of Agriculture, the U.S. Forest Service, and the Leopold Center for Sustainable Agriculture. The Man of Forestry, the state's largest forest landowner, is also involved with us. University of Northern Iowa Tallgrass Prairie Center. And we have commercial interest. River Trading Company and John Deere have also helped us. And we've had a number of student projects over the last year and we'll continue to have students involved in the project as we move forward. As we complete 2012, we have a couple of exciting projects I'd like to tell you about. First is a partnership with the Johnson County Conservation Board and the University. The Johnson County Conservation Board needs to remove about 2,000 tons of dead and dying conifers and invasive trees both at Kent Park and at Chia Fen. We're going to use that uh, wood that is being removed as a fuel source for the university boilers. We're going to test burn those wood chips. We've retained the contract services of Miller Logging from Dubuque to harvest the trees, turn them into chips, and transport them to our current coal supplier, River Trading, down in Muscatine. River Trading will then blend the wood chips with coal and deliver the mix to us at the university main power plant. We expect to learn a lot in this project. We'll learn a lot about harvesting and removing material from the woods and leaving the land in a condition that can be restored to natural prairie, which is the goal of the Conservation Board. We'll learn about blending and transporting and the economics associated with blending wood chips and coal and what it takes to get it to the power plant. We're also in the process of evaluating miscanthus plantings for the spring of 2012. We're evaluating proposals for both grower services and procurement of rhizomes. We intend to plant a test plot of about 15 acres to help us learn what are the local economics in southeast Iowa of growing this potential mis miscanthus grass, which is a potential bioenergy crop. We're getting a lot of help from Iowa State University Agronomy in the farming aspects of this project. 